Campus. Welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the slope of 6.5 Newton force F is specified as shown in the figure. Express this force F as a vector in terms of unit vectors I and J. So now we are given this force F which has a magnitude of 6.5 kN and its slope or we can say its angle with the x axis is given in the form of this right angle triangle and whose base and this perpendicular magnitude is given. So we are given this 12 and 5. So if I extend this force F, it is making some angle theta. So this theta and this theta, they will remain the same. So we can find that angle theta which this force F is making uh, with the x axis by using uh, tan theta by applying tan theta to this right angle triangle. So if, if this is that theta and this is the theta we can say that tan theta is equal to this perpendicular or we can say that tan theta is the opposite divided by the adjacent side or we can say that the base of the triangle. So we can say this will be tan theta will be 5 divided by 12 and we can say that theta is equal to 10 inverse 5 divided by 12. So this will give us the angle. So 10 inverse 5 divided by 12, 22.62 approximately. So we can say that theta is 22.62 degrees. So that force F which has a magnitude of 6.5 uh, 6 kN is making uh, 22.62 degrees with the horizontal or we can say with the x-axis. So now we can resolve this force F. So we can say that this force F is, this is that force F which has a magnitude of 6.5 kN and it is making 22.62 uh, degree angle with the horizontal. So this is 22.62 degrees and we can resolve this force F into its component. So we can say that one of its component is going to be in the downward direction like this and one of its component is going to be in the negative x direction. So we can draw this component here as well. So this will be, uh, remember that uh, both the components, the head of both the components must coincide with the head of that force F. Remember this is the thumb rule. So this is that f of y since this is parallel to this is the y axis so this is parallel to the y axis so this will be f of y and this is parallel to the x axis so this is f of x. So now I can draw this uh, f of y here as well to complete that uh, right angle triangle so we can say this is that f of y and this is that f of x and similarly we can draw this f of x here as well so this will complete the parallelogram. And uh, if we add both of these components by head to tail rule, they must give us that force F. So now this is the right angle triangle and this is the angle 22.62 degrees. Now as we have discussed in the previous videos on this playlist that the component with which the angle is made is always the cos component. Or we can say that the component which is adjacent to the angle is always the cos component. So we can say that F of X will be that F cos of 22.62 degrees. So now F is 6.5 kilonewton cos of 22.62. So this will be in kilonewton. So we can say that F of X is uh, 6.5 cos of 22.62. This is equal to 5.999 which is approximately we can say 6 kilonewton. And is we can see that f of x is in the negative x so we must add the negative sign with it right so this will be minus minus and this is minus so f of x is or we can say that the scalar component of that force f in the x direction is minus 6 kN and similarly we can say that f of y now as we know that if the f of x is the cos component then f of y must be the sine component so we can say that f of y is f sine of 22.62 degrees. Now f is 6.5 sine of 22.62 degrees. This is in kilonewton and is we can see that f of y is also in the negative y direction. So this is also minus sine. So we will write minus minus f sine of 22.62 
and if we find this this will be 6.5 sine 22.62 this gives us 2.5 so we can say that f of y is equal to minus 2.5 kilonewton so this is f of y now these are the scalar components of that force f which has a magnitude of 6.5 kilonewton and making 22.62 degrees with the uh, horizontal or with the x-axis now to express that force f in terms of its i and j components we can say that force f vector will be equal to f of x vector since f of x and f of y are the rectangular components we can always the aid them by head to tail rule so f of x vector plus f of y vector and f of x is this f of x vector is always this f of x with its unit vector so we can say that f of x vector will be f of x and with the unit vector i so since f of x is along the x-axis so the unit vector for along the x-axis is always the i unit vector and for the y it's the j unit vector so we can say f of x i plus f of y j and similarly we can say that that force f vector is now we know that f of x is this is the scalar component which is 6 kilonewton so we will say minus 6 i and f of y is minus 2.5 so minus 2.5 j and the overall units are in kilonewton so that force f in terms of i and j is minus 6 i minus 2.5 j in kilonewton Now this is one of the method of how to use this triangle and finding the rectangular components. There is one another method uh, to use this right angle triangle for finding the f of x and f of y component. So let me explain that method as well. Now we can say that the second approach or the second method to use this triangle which is given. So the second approach is that we find the hypotenuse of we find the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle by using the Pythagoras theorem so if we apply the Pythagoras theorem we can say that the hypotenuse of that triangle will be that the hypotenuse square of that triangle will be equal to the base square plus the perpendicular square and if we take the square roots on both sides that will give us that hypotenuse so this is 12 square plus 5 square this gives us 13 so the hypotenuse of that triangle is 13 so now this is 13 and again we know that if, if I draw that force f here so this is the f of y and this is f of x let me show that this is f of x and this is f of y so now again we know that since if we consider this angle theta then f of x is the cos component so we can say that if this is angle theta then f of x is f cos of theta and similarly we can say that f of y is the sine component which is f sine of theta now we can say that f is 6.5 kilonewton now for cos of theta we will use this right angle triangle which for which we know all the three sides now according from this right angle triangle if we consider this angle then cos of theta will be the base or the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse so cos of theta will be 12 divided by 13 so we can say this will be 12 divided by 13 from that small triangle this is that small triangle which is 5 12 and 13 and we are considering this angle theta so we can say that f of x is 6.5 multiply by 6.5 multiply by 12 divided by 13 so this gives us 6 so this is 6 kilonewton this is the magnitude of that f of x and as f of x is in the negative x we must include minus sign as well so this is minus minus and minus so f of x is minus 6 kilonewton as we got from that angle as well so this is minus 6 kilonewton and similarly the f of y will be the sine component is f of y is opposite to the angle so f of y will be f sine of theta and f of y is in the negative y direction now sine of theta from this triangle will be the 
sine of theta is perpendicular or the opposite side to the angle divided by the hypotenuse. So, we can say that this will be minus 6.5 opposite side or the perpendicular side is 5 divided by hypotenuse which is 13. So, we can say that 6.5 multiply by 5 divided by 13. So, this gives me 2.5. So, f of y is equal to minus 2.5 kilonewton. So, we got the same answers. This is minus 2.5 kilonewton. So, this is how we can use this small triangle. We can find the angle by applying tan theta to that triangle. And the second method is we can find the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle and then use using that sine and cos components and finding the f of x and f of y.